Hi, my name is Joyce Wiersma, and I attend the Sugar Grove campus of Village Bible Church, and I live in Sandwich, Illinois. I'm Laura, and I uh, attend Village Bible Sugar Grove, been here about four and a half years, and I currently live in Elburn. So we went to Lubin in Poland. Um, it's a section of Poland that used to belong to Germany, mm -hmm. and um, we visited uh, the Thomases, and we saw their ministry firsthand. We witnessed some of their English classes. We attended church on Easter Sunday. Um, it's a small Baptist church made up of about 40 people, um, and, the, and the English school also takes place in their church building. And um, the purpose of our visit was to see what they're doing and see how Village Bible can partner with them to help them accomplish their goals. Right now they're in the, in the um, beginning processes of building a new church building. They have the foundation laid, but they haven't begun the walls or the roof yet. And they can get all the supplies they need in country, but they need workers and they need money. It's going to cost about $800,000 to complete this building, and so they have a long way to go to getting enough money. And um, they also need help in teaching the English language. The people there are very anxious to learn English because it's the international language, and so they are um, open to talking about the gospel and other topics with the missionaries through English language lessons. So if they can get this building finished, then this, the teachers don't have to teach in their home. Um, it'll have more of a professional presence in town. And it's also in a great location, right in the middle of dozens of apartment buildings with thousands of people. Um, so the potential of growing their school and thereby um, using English teaching as a bridge to spread the gospel is huge. The Catholics who come to the Lord came to the Lord because they read the Bible for themselves. So there's not that barrier of having to convince them that Jesus is real. You don't have to convince them that the Bible is legit. Um, you don't need to convince them that they're sinners and that Jesus died for their sins. You need to convince them to read the book for themselves. That's what's going to change their lives. And that's the goal of the missionaries, is to develop a relationship with them through English teaching so that they can have an opportunity to point them to God's truth in His Word. And if you have a heart for missions at all, God is very close to those who shares His Word and he was a missionary. He sent his son for us, and we would like to send some people to Poland to help them. Three big things, money for the building, um, teachers next summer, teachers long term. Oh, and one other thing I forgot was construction workers. So if you have an ability to um, paint, lay flooring, whatever it is, um, electrical work, they need people to come over to do that too. But they're not only looking for someone to come for a week, hammer some nails and leave, Come back again and do it again and um, continue to build relationships uh, with the Polish people that way. 